on the lights on this town They shine a supernova do And the moonlight flares in the sky And it's revealing the night's true Hey world of YouTube, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, as I promised, I was going to um, go through some of the food that I have in my cupboard before going out and buying new. Um, I have been kind of doing that, but I've just been so busy that I haven't filmed it. So here is going to be one really quick one. I took, I'm gonna make myself two sandwiches. So I've already pre-buttered my bread. Um, what I'm gonna do is make uh, turkey and cheese with uh, grilled onions. I've already grilled up some onion. And then I'm going to make this like a sweet and savory. Um, so in here, I have mixed this um, Crofters Organic Seedless Blackberry. Um, is it jam or is it, well, it's just called premium spread. So it really doesn't have a lot of consistency to it, or there's no, it's very smooth. Let's just put it that way. So in essence, it's a spread. Um, and then I also took some of the uh, garlic chili paste, the sambal, and just kind of mixed it together. I took about two teaspoons of the um, spread and about a half a teaspoon of, of this, just to kind of give it some sweet and savory. I had two leftover cheeses. I had Munster and Gouda. So I'm gonna take uh, two slices of each and then I've got some cold cut turkey. So I'm gonna grill this off really, really quick and then assemble, and then I'm gonna assemble my sandwich. All right, so I'm just warming up this uh, turkey here. And it's just the really cheap turkey from Walmart, the uh, Land of Frost, the honey smoke. So nothing, nothing expensive or crazy as you can see. I just kind of want to get it warm and just get a little bit of color on it. All right, I'm just gonna do a really quick assembly of this sandwich. So the side that does not have the butter, I will put it over, spread a bit of this deliciousness on it. Grab a little bit of the grilled onion. A little bit of Munster, Gouda. So I'm gonna do that with all of them, all sides. For being cheapy, cold cut turkey, it smells really good while it's cooking. I just must say that. All right, so the kind of cool thing about this is that it's got this ooey, gooey uh, turkey juice in here. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of butter to it. I 
I know we've already buttered our sides of our bread, but I love some butter. I'm gonna let that butter brown just a little bit. All right, and something that might be kind of unusual that I really like to do for um, my grilled cheese is to add some garlic powder um, just to kind of make it almost like a grilled garlic cheese. So like some garlic bread. Just a little dab. And I do have this on medium heat. I am not very used to using a flat top. Um, this is actually one of the first times that I've used it. I had a flat top briefly uh, in Ohio whenever I lived at my aunt's house, but that was only for about eight weeks. And I really didn't cook that much because I chose to drink instead <laughs> of eating. So praise God, I'm not there anymore. So it's been about three minutes. I'll go ahead and flip it. I'm already starting to get some nice gooey cheese. Picking a little unevenly, which is my always my concern for these flat tops. So I'll just kind of turn it around and make sure that I get that one cooking more. But I think it was because the butter distributed a little bit better on this one with all of the turkey juices. So get all those sopped up. So it's been about another three minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the heat. That way nothing um, burns at all. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove it from the burner. And cover it right quick so that the cheese will melt. Okay, so. I left them in there for three minutes, just with that lid closed and the color came out perfectly. I flipped that one over so that you could see what the other side looked like. I cooked them perfectly evenly. So three minutes is the key on each side on medium heat, or reckon. So, let's give this, let's give this a go. Let's see how delicious it's gonna be. Mm, here goes nothing. Cut into the sky. Nice, ooey, gooey cheese. And I, okay, no, that was a piece of cheese. I thought it was a hair for a second. It was a piece of cheese. Mmm, looks good. Yum. Let's give her a taste. Mmm. 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 Wow. That is super tasty. The garlic powder, making the bread into garlic bread with a grilled cheese or a grilled ham and cheese is really the way to go. Those grilled onions in there, you can taste them beautifully. The sambal, the spicy garlic is not 
overpowering at all. It is barely there and that is such a clean spice. So um, it's really, really delicious. I think my choices of cheese were really good. I think my one complaint about this would perhaps be <clears throat> if I do this the next time, I would take each individual piece of turkey and brown it. Um, I don't particularly like the texture of all of the slices together and how it got kind of wet once I, um, I just don't care for that. Or a higher quality turkey would absolutely be good. You know, this would be delicious with um, an after Thanksgiving like your Thanksgiving leftovers. Oh, I'm going to be doing this again. This is really, really good. It's very good. So I recommend it to everybody. Enjoy.